Hi everybody, this is Kevin, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you uh, which software that you should use, free software, uh, to monitor your computer, to have more information with it, to bench it, even to overclock it. I will go in. I will not go into details because I have other video to show like how to overclock your CPU, how to overclock your GPU. But it's more like which uh, software you need to download to make sure that you have everything on your computer, all the information that you need. The first one that I I, I recommend is the GPU Z. Uh, by the way, all those software, the link for the download will be in the video description, so don't worry. The first one is for the GPU. So this one gives you a lot of information about your GPU. So first of all, which one do you have, which version, if you have a revision or not, uh, all those different technology over there, your default clock versus your GPU clock. So if you did an overclock, technically you should see it there. Uh, also, you have a lot of different uh, information with the sensor. So like clock speed, GPU clock speed, memory clock, uh, the temperature of your uh, GPU and a lot of different stuff over there. So with this, you can like you will have all the information that you need for your GPU. A lot of people are asking me after to when they see my uh, whatever how to boost guide. I don't know which via video card that I have. I don't know which motherboard that I have. Those uh, software will help you a lot. The other one that you need is the CPU-Z. It's pretty much the same thing if you compare with GPU-Z, but it's for your CPU. So all the information that you need for your CPU is over there. You, you have your boost clock, your multiplier, bus speed. All the information is pretty much there. In the main board, main board section, you will have your um, um, motherboard. So if you don't know which one do you have, this is pretty much it. there you need to find. Uh, after that, you can, for example, search for better driver for it. Uh, also, for your chipset, do you have the latest version for AMD? For example, if you have the Ryzen one, so the information is over there. Memory, another really important thing. A lot of people are putting their RAM into the first and the second slot and they're running the channel in single mode. You want to run it in dual, so really important to see dual over there. This is the way to see it. Uh, also, if you can see, if you want to make sure that your XMP profile or whatever overclocking you did to your RAM, uh, you will see there. So, for an example, a lot of, of people is asking me, I don't understand. I bought like a 3,600 megahertz RAM, but I only see 1,800. It's because it's for each ba uh, each RAM slot. So, for example, it's 1,800 1, multiplied by 2. So, you should be fine and all different uh, other information about the timing on your RAM. So if you want to tight your timing, really important with Ryzen, you can gain a lot of FPS with that. So this is pretty much where you will see your information. You got also basic stuff for your graphic card, but honestly, you should use the GPU Z1. It's a lot better. And the last thing is you have a really cool benchmark over there. You can bench your single thread or multi thread. So for example, if you're doing overclocking, you can go there, just retest your um, your CPU and compare the default versus your overclock if it's working or not. Also, you have a stress test if you want to stress test the CPU. So after that, uh, you want to monitor your thing. So HW monitor is a really good tool, honestly. Um, I, I just open everything. You can see everything in this. So for an example, the, the wattage on my uh, CPU, what it's using, voltage on my CPU, uh, the usage percentage of usage for each core on my CPU so really cool if you see a lot of 100 over there and you're not doing anything on your computer probably you have an issue with your computer uh, all my boost clock temperature on my hard uh, drive SSD etc so really cool you can see everything you can see if you have like an issue with your uh, ventilation in your case if you have like crazy high temperature on your whatever m2 ssd and stuff like that you're probably have an issue with your um your vent inside of your case so yeah it's really good cool tool to monitor the other one that i uh, recommend a lot i did a, a full video on it so how to overclock first and how to use the tool it's msi afterburner really cool tool you can overclock your gpu with this uh, really easily and also you can have uh, live data on your uh, computer so for example I, when I run Conan Exile I have all this information top left in my screen so for example the degree on the GPU the usage of the GPU the percentage of usage of my CPU boost clock on my first core uh, the degree of my uh, CPU 
the utilization of my RAM, and also my FPS. So a lot of people is asking me when I play a game, whatever on Twitch or even on YouTube, uh, how you can see, how you can you display all this information. It's in MSI Afterburner. If you want to see uh, which one you want to use or how to trigger it on MSI Afterburner, I have a full video on it. I will show you how to, for example, if you want to see your 12 core over there with the boost clock, you can do it with this software. It's pretty cool. After that, you have all the information and you have your live data when you're playing a video games or whatever. Now you want to benchmark. Two free benchmarks that are very cool. It's the Valley benchmark and the Superposition benchmark. So download them. So it's pretty much to test. It's it's more for your GPU, honestly. I prefer to use Cinebench for my uh, CPU, but still, uh, it's really cool. You just run the, the the benchmark, look at your default number, and look at your after number. So your after number can depend of a lot of different things. You change your video card. You did an overclock on your video card. You add more fan in your case, and you want to see if your boost clock is a little bit better. So always test uh, the the default one and the after your change because sometimes you can over clock something and you can lose performance so really important to always compare so those benchmark are really great finally the latest one it's the Cinebench R20 um, this is more for to bench your CPU so you, you just have to run it over there if you want to run the multi-thread one if you just want to use the single core one you will run over there it will keep all your um, latest uh, score over there and uh, yeah, you can compare like, again, you did an overclock, you change your cooler on your CPU and now you're getting like 7% boost uh, on your la latest score. So this is pretty much where you will see all those information. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me like any question about like uh, your uh, computer uh, software that you want to use. Again, all those software links will be in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.